Shalom, my brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel who are scattered abroad. Greetings in the name of Yahweh Basha Mahasha. Today we're going into a very controversial topic based on biblical law and the books of the prophets. The law and the testimony, brothers and sisters. In my hand here, I have an archaeology book to prove that the Israelites in Egypt were black. So our subject today is what happened to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. According to the Bible, the captivities that our people were in are recorded in the Bible and the captivity that we're in now. This is a book called An Archaeological Passover by Haggadah. And in this book, it proves, according to archaeologists, on page 26, there's a picture and the caption that goes with Exodus chapter 113. And Egypt made the children of Israel toil and labor. As you look on this picture right here, my finger is, these are the Israelites building bricks in Egypt during the time of King Ramses II. Now, as you can see in this archaeology book, the Israelites were black. So what happened to the black Israelites throughout the biblical history and according to the books of the prophets? Our opening scripture we're going to today is in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 1. Jeremiah was a, a predominant prophet, and at this time, he was prophesying about certain captivities our people were going to go in. Now, the nation of Israel, the t all 12 tribes of us, after we came up out of Egypt and were established as a unified kingdom under David and Solomon, after their deaths, there were many captivities that were foretold in the Bible to befall us until we came here to the Americas. Prior before that, we were over there in the east, over there near Babylon, and Israel was in the center of the Middle East at that time, and we had kingdoms like Babylon to our uh, north, uh, northeast. You had uh, the Egyptians, the children of Mizraim, to our south. You had the children of Japheth up north and northwest. So in the ancient times, with the ancient maps, you have to study bibliography and archaeology and geographical locations out of the Bible to know this. And you have to get the right instruction from the true prophets and buyers. That's what the Hebrew word means, instructor, and prophets and seers that are called, as I did in the former Israeli school of UPK when I got my calling back in 19. 87. So, the opening scripture we're going to today is in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15. And this is what the prophet Jeremiah said concerning Israel and the captivities that were going to befall us for doing what? Breaking the covenant and the laws and statutes, moral, silver, and dietary laws and the covenant of having the land of Canaan that was given to us by promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the three fathers of promise. And these curses came on the whole nation of Israel from Judah down to Issachar. So in Jeremiah chapter 15, the prophet Jeremiah was told by the Most High that even though our people had these great men amongst them, like Moses and Samuel and the prophets, there was something against the most I had against us. And that was our inconsistency of faith and keeping the commandments and being obedient and disciplined in the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high. And we didn't have no faith. So Jeremiah wrote about these inconsistencies of Israel. This is what he said, and this is what Ani said unto Jeremiah. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses, the lawgiver, and Samuel, the prophets, stood before me, yet my mind could not be what? 
toward this people. What people? The 12 tribes of Israel. Why? Because of their disobedience. And Aniyah had, uh, that, that thing had grieved Aniyah because Aniyah had brought us out. He gave us the charge to keep them laws. We didn't want to do it. So by us not wanting to do it, he turned away from the people. And it says this right here. He says, this people, cast them out of my sight and let them go. Where were we going to go? <laughs> here it is. And it shall come to pass. If they shall say unto thee, if our people come to us, the prophets, the seers, and the elect of Israel, and the disciples of Mahasha, if they come to us, what are we to tell you? It is the answer. Whether shall we go forth? Now, you got a lot of different directions of our people in this day and time. Our people are going into these different ideologies, philosophies, political parties throughout the world. And throughout the centuries, we've been wanderers throughout the nations. We've been lost on top of the mountains and on the hills. That's why the Bible says the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And when a sheep gets lost, he leaves a flock and the shepherd can't watch over him. Yahweh Shah is a good shepherd. Aniyah is a power of Yahweh Shah and us. And in his order, he brought that down in, in, in the Bible and fulfilled those, uh, uh, prop, the books of the prophets and the law when Yahweh Shah came on the scene. So that order that we had with Aniyah it was broken down. Why? Because the people were sinning and they didn't believe. See what it says here? When well, where shall they go? So the prophet was told by Aniyah where we were, where we where we were headed. Because our people are heading in all these different directions nowadays. And see, see what it says here? Then thou shalt say. Uh, shall say unto them, Thus saith the miles of I. The word miles of I is a Hebrew word, a Yelashua Kodash word that means, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the miles of I, such as are for what? The death and to the death. Our people right now being put to death in the captivities to North Central and South America and the islands of the sea, spiritually. Our people are dead. Our people are fighting each other through North, Central, and South America and the islands of the sea. And our people are breached. We're not together as a nation. And this, all these vibrations that the Most High put on us are on us until this very day. So we're going from death to death. That's why so much death amongst our people. The only time our people to gather together when somebody dies. The only time when you see our people when somebody dies. The only time you hear about them on TV is when somebody is dying. So that curse is put on us. And spiritually, our people are dead. Why? Because they don't know they're the Israelites. They don't know any of y'all's law, statute, commandments. They don't know their nationality and their historical records in the books of the prophets as written in the law and the testimony. So our people are what? Going from death to death in all these groups that they're in. See what it says here? From death to death, as such are uh, from the sword to the sword. Go on these so-called black neighborhoods, West Indian, Puerto Rican, and Indian so-called neighborhoods through North Central and South America and the island the sea. What do you see in there? You see the sport. You see the cops killing these young men. You see the cops uh, locking up these young brothers out here. They shooting them down in the street. And then when they go to court, they say, they say, not guilty. All of these people was foretold in the Bible because the Most High said, you're going to be going through these things and going through these scenarios because you forsook me. The, the fountain of living water. And he said, you're going to be going from death to death. And you're going to be going where else? Here you go. From death to death, as such as uh, from the sword to the sword, and, and such as from the what? The sword to the sword, as such as from uh, the famine to the famine. 
and such as from the captivity to the captivity. What's the famine on our people right now? Economic famines, spiritual famine, lacking land, lacking resources. Right now, the 12 tribes of Israel are in a pitiful case throughout North, Central, and South America and the islands of the sea. And all of this was foretold in the Bible. Let's go to the book of Lamentations real quick and show you that. Let's go to Lamentations. Our kingdom fell. And when our kingdom fell and we came down into these conditions of hell and captivity, because we go on from captivity, from captivity, from death to death. When our kingdom fell, it was prophesied in the book of Lamentations that we were going to fall into a uh, deplorable condition throughout the Americas, North, Central, South America, and the islands of the sea. Go down there to Jamaica, go down there to Haiti, and go down there to South America. You see all those old poor kids running the streets with no fathers. The women are whores in the streets. You see the people going to these so-called Catholic churches and getting shot down there in Ecuador, in these areas, and getting killed by the Spaniards and the conquistador descendants from those governments, colonial governments down there. So all these curses and all these things, under y'all said, will befall us in the last days. Why? Because of our disobedience and breaking the laws. Here you go right here. Lamentations, chapter 2. And it says here, How is the Lord, right? How has, has the miles of our, rather, uh, covered the what? The daughter of, of, of Zion with a what? With a cloud in his anger. The Most High was angry with us. And we went through these different captivities, but there were two main captivities that really got our people in the despoiled. And when we came to the Americas, and the other tribes came over here to the Americas during the time of the Assyrians. The, the, the first one was the 10 lost tribes when they went into Assyria. The second biggest captivity was that when we went into the land of Ham after 70 AD, when Titus the Roman general marched into Jerusalem in BC. So you had uh, incidents like Masada, you had the temple burnings and the school burnings in, in, in Jerusalem, and after all of that, the Most High said he would scatter us abroad. So the anger of the Most High came down on our people. And Lamentations uh, of Jeremiah, he saw it. And he spoke about it. And he said this as we read on. And cast down uh, and cast down from heaven unto the earth. See people, you've been taught wrong by these old pork chop pastors. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence take it by force. Your kingdom of, of heaven was Jerusalem. When these pastors are telling you in these so-called pork chop churches and money hungry pastors telling you, you got to die and go to heaven to receive salvation and seize the border, that man is a liar and to be avoided and you need to walk out of there. Because your heaven was Jerusalem and you were in a kingdom and you had order of the Most High's law during the time of David and Solomon. Now the Israelites ain't got that no more. So you were cast down from your kingdom of heaven in Jerusalem. And where did you go down to? What it says here? And cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel and remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger. So the most high footstool was where? Jerusalem, the temple of Solomon. And the people were living there at that time. That was his footprint and his plans of his heavenly realm down here on earth. His order, which is the law and the testimony. And he had one chosen people, the nation of Israel, that he put in that land. But our people didn't obey. So then what did he do? As it says in Jeremiah, he says, you're going to go from captivity to captivity. Sword to the sword. Famine to the famine. 
Because you go to these so-called black, so-called preachers and political leaders right now, none of them are telling you that you're the Israelites. Because they got a famine on them. Which is what? Hearing the Lord's word and them speaking the word. The Most High withdrew himself from these so-called false leaders. And you ought to withdraw from them also. See what it says here? It says, And the Lord has swallowed up all the habitations of Jacob. So all your records, your houses, your temple of Solomon, and any type of evidence that was over there, it got smashed down. They just recently, scientists and archaeologists, went over to Jerusalem and they found the relics and the foundation of David's temple or his house that he had over there. He had a place where he was living at, a castle, so to speak. And all of these things are being dug up out of the ground to prove the records of the Bible is accurate. And these places were being dug up, and these discoveries are being discovered now. Why? Because the most I said in the last days, the truth should come out about the Israelites. That they went into all these different captivities. See what it says here? Of Jacob, and has not pity. He has thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He has brought them down to the ground. So you went from a kingdom, now you down where? You in the bottom of the totem pole. The Israelites are considered the lowest people on the planet right now. Nobody respects us. We live in the ghettos and slums and scattered up in these areas. Why? Because Aniyah put us into these deplorable conditions because we broke the law. And at one time, we were over there in Jerusalem in a kingdom. You had, you had palaces. You had the temple. You had your own land. There was an order of the law that brought us into that heavenly realm of being in what? Freedom. And the temple and the area around Jerusalem was ours at one time. Now, it belongs to the white man and the other nations. The Arabs, the children of Ishmael, Edom is in there. They tell you that in that 83rd Psalms, all our enemies are in the land of Jerusalem right now, and they all conspire to bring us crashing down to the ground. See what it says here? And it says, uh, and it says here, in his wrath, in his stronghold, of the daughter of Zion, he has what? Brought them down to the ground and has polluted the kingdom and the princes thereof. See, at one time you were a kingdom under David and Solomon. You were under their tutelage, under the law and the books of the prophets. And everything was revolving around Jerusalem at that time. And the prophets was in there. And all these world events and things that's written in the scriptures was happening around Jerusalem. But then Aniyah brought you down where? To the ground. And he brought you into a deep captivity. And Jeremiah said that we will be going from captivity to captivity, from death to death. And I'm going to name some of the captivities that we went through. In the book of Judges, chapter 3, verse 8, Kushan from Mesopotamia, he had us in captivity. Judges 3 and 12, the Moabites, or the Chinese, they had us in captivity at one time. 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 31, Neop of Hamath, the Hamites, got their hands back on us. 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 25, the Egyptians, or the children of Israel, they got their hands back up on us in the biblical records. 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 1 to 18, the Assyrians, who took out our brothers to ten tribes. And these are biblical uh, classes that we have and prophetic classes we could show you about those events, how the ten tribes migrated over here to the so-called Americas now to fulfill Deuteronomy chapter 49 and Deuteronomy chapter 33 in the last days. See? And it says here, in their geographical locations in these areas, and it says, 2 Kings chapter 24, verse 10, the Babylonians, the children of Cush. The illustration I have in back of me, this, these are the Babylonians. 
that took the children of Israel into captivity and you see on the wall here and the vacuuming that that's a picture of